Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just waiting for um, I'm not sure that this has started properly. Just waiting to see if it has started properly. Okay. Hello, I'm just waiting for a few minutes uh, before I start. Um, I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I uh, didn't um, announce that I was going to make a video because um, at times I just, when I feel like making a video, I make it, then uh, people can see it um, later after um, I've done it. And. Um, Today, I'm um, just going to talk about um, a topic that I believe is very, very important uh, for the body of Christ, especially now more than ever, because um, we are living in the end of the end days. Jesus is coming very, very soon, sooner than we imagine, and... Um, When he comes, during the second coming, he doesn't want to come for a church that is not prepared. He wants to come for a church that is ready for him. He wants to come to, 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 to his body that is ready to be ruptured and meet him in the clouds. So, um, a couple of years ago, in um, 2010... God spoke to me about um, accountability, a topic called accountability. I had an open vision. I had an open vision. I'm not going to talk more about the open vision today, but um, God was basically talking about um, the accountability of leaders, of churches, that they will one day stand accountable to him um, for how they led their flock for um, the word that they used to give to the flock and God was saying that um, a lot of um, preachers are preaching a watered down gospel um, a kind of gospel that uh, um, makes people happy that tickles their ears but God was saying that what preachers should remember is that one day they will stand accountable before him. In 2010, that's when I had this open vision and I um, shared with some pastors and um, I shared um, with a lot of Christian friends. And um, in 2011, a year later, God asked me to write a book on um, what he had told me about accountability and the importance of um, pastors, leaders, church leaders, whether they are um, worship leaders, whether they are apostles, whether they are... Um, evangelists whether they are just pastors bishops or whatever god was talking to me about the importance of them knowing that they will stand before god they will stand accountable on their own one day they will stand accountable as to how they will have led their flocks how they had run god's churches and um, so in 2011, God told me to, to, to write the book. I have 
but I have no experience whatsoever of writing a book, so it was quite a struggle for me. God had told me um, what the book was like, it was going to be about accountability. He told me the topics that I had to, to, to write in the book. It told me that I have to write a topic on preachers, um, uh, uh, pastors, apostles, and and, and, and stuff that they will stand accountable before God. He told me to write about parents, that they will stand accountable. Parents are stewards of the children that they have, and therefore they will stand accountable to God because of those children, how they mentored the children. Because a lot of times if we look like now, a lot of kids are just doing their own things. Our parents do not give them time whatsoever to groom them, to, to, to mentor them. So God um, talked about that. God talked about um, um, accountability of spouses, husbands and wives, that they will stand accountable um, before God because spouses are accountable to each other just as children are accountable to their parents, just as um, uh, the church flock is accountable to their pastors and bishops and bishops and pastors are also accountable to the church. But no one wants to stand accountable at all. You know, whilst, okay, let me probably define what accountability um, means. Accountability is defined as the quality, that is the Merrimack um, Dictionary, Webster Dictionary. It is defined, accountability is defined as the quality or state of being held accountable, an obligation or willingness to accept a responsibility to account for one's actions. That's Mary Webster Dictionary. And uh, Surgeon's Dictionary defines, uh, 2012, defines accountability as uh, mm -hmm. taking responsibility for one's actions and defending them to anyone who asks, e.g. the general public, stakeholders, colleagues, partners, and policies. Accountability is the obligation of an individual or an organization to account for its activities, to accept the responsibility for them, and to discuss the results in a transparent manner. That's the business, uh, business dictionary.com. Is the act of um, taking ownership. No one wants to take uh, um, to, uh, ownership these days. Even in the workplaces, also, because God also asked me to talk about accountability in the workplaces. In the workplaces, employees are accountable to, to, to their employers, but no one wants to, 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 to stand accountable. And also, the, employ, the employ, employers don't want to hold anybody accountable. That's why things are always going on. If you look in the world today, like um, politicians, presidents, prime ministers, they don't want to be held accountable by um, uh, the very people who, who got them into power. They don't want to be held accountable at all. Presidents, prime ministers, they don't want to be asked anything. They forget the very people who voted them into power. Things happen in different countries and they are happening in different countries and nobody is um wants to be held accountable you know somebody does something that is terrible you know accidents happen but the companies which will be responsible they don't want to be held accountable for that which will have happened you know, it's kind of like a blame game. This saying is this one. This other person is saying is this one. But God was saying, especially to the church, you will stand accountable. Parents, you leave your kids to live, to do whatever. You don't mentor them. They end up being wild kids. Just remember that God gave you stewardship over those kids you will stand accountable you know in 2012 i um was face to face with death 
I was in the in the in, in the hospital. I ended up spending four four months in the hospital. But doctors had done all that they could. You know, in 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 in, in England, you've got um, very powerfully trained doctors who know what they are doing, and um, they had done what they could. I remember I had two consultants. I had so many doctors coming in and out of my room every time. But they got to a point when they did all that they could and they had given up, you know. And um, when I was in hospital, I was just reading the word. I was just praising God. I was, you know, until I got to a point that I couldn't read the word anymore. I was, um, I couldn't eat whilst I was there in the hospital. So I was weak and um, I remember my temperatures, temperature had spiked, the BP had gone haywire. For a week the doctors couldn't do anything, nothing was changing whatsoever. And I ended up to telling my husband and I said to him, you know what, I'm just tired. I was giving in. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm just tired. My husband freaked, freaked up big time. When I told him I was tired, I just, I was just felt I could. I just felt I couldn't do this anymore. That was evening time. In the morning, I kept telling myself that I couldn't do this anymore. And you know what? God spoke to me. You know, I thought I was ready to go home. I was ready to go and meet my God. But God told me one thing. He told me that um, I will stand accountable before him. And he reminded me that, you know, when you go to, 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 to meet the Mecca, it's not only about you having given your life to Christ. God reminded me that, yes, I, know I was a teacher in Zimbabwe and... Um, I was an acting head teacher for a long time. I used, I loved preaching the word. I was in the scripture union. I would preach the word at the assembly. I would, ah. In Africa, you, 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 you have got that, that um, flexibility, that freedom of preaching the word of God. And I led many, many people to Christ. So God was telling me, it's not that, it's not only about that that I will stand accountable to him for. God reminded me that there are things, there are, are, are responsibilities that he had given me, some specific missions that he had given me, which I had not done. One of them was the book that I had written, that I was supposed to write, that he had told me to re write the previous year, and I hadn't even done anything about it. The other one is a word that God had given me um, for women all over the world, which I had um, told women all over the world, and I, it was quite successful over the years, but I had kind of like um, relaxed. So God reminded me of that, and I went into the bathroom, and I just started screaming, and I said, I will not die, because I realized that I was not ready to stand before my maker. I was not ready to stand before him at all. I went into the bathroom. I screamed and I said, devil, is, you are a liar. I will not die, but I will live to do what God has called me to do. I will not die. I will not die. I was screaming. I was screaming. I was screaming. And I was um, declaring that I was not going to die until I do that which God has told me to do. The following day, just after I had done that, I mean, I was critically ill. I was walking like to, I was staggering like from my bed to, to, to my bathroom and back and it wasn't good. I couldn't um, have a wash myself anymore. I had to be helped to have a wash. I was struggling up and down. <coughs> when I said that, God being God, he answered my prayer. He answered my prayer. There is a microbiologist who was not, who, who isn't from my hospital. He came, I don't know where he came from. He passed by 
the hospital and uh, he was told that we had a we have we've got a very complicated case here we have tried what all that we can do but we haven't been able to to succeed nothing seems to be working so um, he gave them instructions an instruction as to what to do and by evening time, that time, my temperature had gone down to normal, my, my blood pressure, and that is how, you know, God intervened. I stayed a few more months in hospital, but um, God had intervened, and I knew I had been healed. Doctors were shocked when they saw me the following morning. But this is the God that we serve. He is a good God. But I know very well that God saved me so that I could finish the work that I had to do. And so I had to write this book. It's quite a short book because um, very, very short book because it's just a message from God to the church. A lot of people in church are living in sin. They, they are ridiculous things that are happening in the church today. The word of God tells us that uh, we should not... Um, conform to the world but we have to be renewed by the we have to be transformed by the renewing of the mind but churches these days you you there is not much difference between the church and the world if you get into the praise if you get into praise sessions if you are outside the church and you hear the music that is going on the beat is straight from the world the dancing is straight from the world. The dressing is straight from the world. There is no difference whatsoever between the church and... I'm not saying all churches. I'm saying some churches. There is no difference whatsoever between the world and the church. The way people dress in the church and um, leaders are okay with that is ridiculous. But God is coming soon and people will stand accountable before God. I will stand accountable before God for my own life. Pastors will stand there doubly accountable before God. Elders, worship leaders, Sunday school leaders, everybody will stand accountable before God, whether you have got a position in the church or not. Leaders, presidents, prime ministers, what kind of legislation are you allowing in your countries? Prime Ministers, Presidents, they will stand accountable before God one day. Business people, how are you running your businesses? Are you running your businesses with integrity? Just to remind you, one day you will stand accountable before God. Parents, there are so many scandals over the years that have happened in the church the most popular one the 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 the, the, the young boys the abuse of sexual uh, uh, young boys uh, by roman catholic priests being one of just one of them because there is a book that i was reading written on that when i was uh, researching on accountability all those things were just covered up. They were just covered up. There was no accountability whatsoever. Even in churches right now, leaders of churches live in sin, but nobody can challenge them. Nobody, they have got elders around them, but nobody can stand up to say, you know what, I think you are missing the point in here. You know, but it's, this is the world that we are in, living in, but... You know, what I'm going to say is that Jesus is coming soon. He wants to come for a church that is ready. And everybody is going to stand accountable before him. So as I get ready to, 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 to finish my books and the book and have it edited, I will come and um, just um, talk about some of the things, like some of the chapters, parents and accountability. I mean... Um, Presidents, prime ministers, politicians, and accountability. I will talk about um, spouses, husbands, and wives, their accountability to each other and to God, and all that. That is what I am going to do. So I just wanted to just basically 
uh, tell you, uh, good people, that um, I will be releasing a book very soon, God willing. God bless you. Have a good day. And remember, you are accountable before God. Do not live your life as if you know the day you are going to leave this world. You don't know it. So do not live your life, you know, without care whatsoever. If you are a child of God, you will stand accountable before God. You have got gifts that were imparted on you, you know, for the good of the body of Christ. Are you walking in those gifts? When you stand before God, there are people who are who, who God has told to write books, but they haven't written them. Me, for example, I spent so many years without doing what God had told me to do, write books. And I've got actually several books that God told me to do, three, three. This one that I'm just finishing is the first book. There are some people who have been instructed to write songs, but they are just dilly-dallying. You will stand accountable to God because of that. So many people with gifts, there are people who have got the gifts of healing, but they are just sitting on their gifts, gifts of prophecy. You will stand accountable to that. So I want to encourage you, my brother, my sister, to stand up and do that which God called you to do. Because with that gift, there is an anointing that God, the moment you step out, you know, you step out with that anointing. You don't want to be afraid of people. Just do what God has told you to go do. Thank you very much. Love you, my good friends. God bless you so, so much. And always live knowing that one day you will stand before God to give an account of your life. God bless you.